if you were with someone who doesn't know Verdi and you wanted them to listen to one wor opera by him, it doesn't necessarily have to be the best, well, but okay. something that I would, mean, uh, I, I mean, I, obviously, you know. I certainly would say Traviata mm -hmm. because it's the most accessible by far. Rigoletto is a close second, but Traviata really, and you can take a child to Traviata. It's like Carmen and Boheme. Uh, you can take a child to any one of those operas and they can understand what it's all about. As far as showing off the, the Verdi music, would that also, <coughs> are you saying it's the most accessible dramatically or no, musically as well? No, I don't think well? so. I think it's, well, okay, I think it's the most accessible to the human spirit. Mm. That I do believe you would have to have a heart of stone not to love Traviata. Musically, I think some of his very great works are Don Carlos, Nabucco, which is 1842, a very early work. I certainly would say the revised Simon Bocanegra, which I think is almost as good as Don Carlos, but not quite. And um, Rigoletto, and uh, certainly to a very much lesser extent, Ballo and Mascara. Aida is the first, is the perfect French grand opera, but it's not my favorite Verdi by a long shot. Sure. Let me just say that with a model example of bad taste, say that my favorite Verdi opera is uh, Trovatore because it is so thrown into the wind that if a first violin stood up and gave the uh, first beat of the opera, the thing would carry itself right to the end. Having said that, I'll say that Don Carlos is greater than anything else. I think that Verdi wrote with Simon Bocanegra, revised Simon Bocanegra, a very close second. And where would you put the, the final two operas, which seem to have grown in everybody's <coughs> well, okay. es estimation? Uh, they certainly, in my, in or even my the rec even list, the they would come. Falstaff is something so completely apart that we really can barely even discuss it in the context of the, context of the operas. Otello, I think, is a very good opera, but I happen uh, to be the only person on the planet who doesn't much like the libretto Stoito. Uh, most people think he's a master of literature and poetry, and I don't think that. And so I have to put Otello, although it's a heartbreaking opera, and you can hardly see it without crying, actually. I have to put Otello somewhere after both Don Carlos and Simo Bocanegra. Falstaff is a case absolutely unto itself. He never wrote anything like that before, really. And, of course, because it was his last opera, he never wrote anything like that afterwards.